This is Dr. Greg Hickman here at the Andrews Institute. Uh, we're going to do an interscaling catheter today uh, for a young man having some shoulder surgery. And we're going to use our clarius to put our catheter in, and we'll show you how we do our approach. We're going to come in posteriorly and we're put the, the probe right over the interscaling uh, brachial plexus uh, right here in the neck. Okay, I'm going to go down supraclavicular. You can see the artery with the rib right under it, the brachial plexus right there about uh, 12 to 3 o'clock. And then we're going to follow that plexus back up the neck till we get our stop light right here between the two muscles. Okay. Oh, he's a tough one. Right there, you can kind of see it right there. I'm going to kind of mark our probe. So we know where we're coming in. Then we're gonna prep and drape posteriorly here. So Rocky, my block nurse is gonna hand me the probe here. He's got it right back where we had it marked before. Now I still got the probe, it's easy to hold. I'm on the non, I'm on the sterile side. The probe's over there with Rocky on the non-sterile side. So tough to see. You got some nerves right in there between the, you can see the anterior middle scalene muscles better than anything, but this is where we wanna go. All right, a numbing shot here on three. One, two, three. That a boy. Then we're gonna come in with our tui. A lot of pressure. Ah. So coming in posterior, we got our needle coming in parallel to the face of our probe. So you can see the needle right there coming on across the screen from right to left. You see the tip pretty bright there. We're in the middle scalene muscle. We're gonna go right through the middle scalene muscle. As soon as we pop through that, we're gonna start giving some local. We should be getting a little shoulder twitch here any second. I think I'm in there, so I'm gonna give a couple CCs and see what we've got. Give me a couple right there, Rocky. Aspiration. I think we're in the right space. Is negative here? Uh-huh. One. Yeah. Two. Pretty. Okay. Go ahead and give me five. Aspiration. Yeah, where my needle go? There it is. One. There we go. Three. So it's opening up that space between the nerves and the middle scalene really well. You can see it right there. Now we've opened up that space really well. We're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna let Rocky take my probe. Right there. Now we're getting a little twitch. So we got a little closer to the nerves, got a twitch. Now we're going to slide our catheter in this space, just to the right of the stoplight. Perfect. See the needle, see the catheter come out right there. I'm going to lay the catheter down. You're good. And then bring the catheter back up. Thread in the catheter just between the brachial plexus, interscalene stoplight, and the middle scalene muscle. Then we're going to take the needle out. Can you see it well enough, Rocky? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that laid in really well. I used to do a complete flip with the tip of the catheter. Now I just lay it down and back up in that space. Take our guide wire out, bring our catheter all the way out. We're gonna check this catheter with the ultrasound. So, got a beautiful view right there. We're gonna test this. One, two, three, boom. You can see the what lightening up, the white and little air came through, and then the, the spreading out the space between the three stoplights you see real well right there and the middle scaling muscle which is on the right that's a really nice picture right there and this is he's not the easiest anatomy he's kind of a big guy so it makes it a little tough but we we're able to do it and now you see a really good picture of the anterior scaling the middle scaling and that three that stoplight sign right in the middle with the c5 and c6